Naperville native Jerry Harris rose to fame as a cheerleader on Navarro College's famous team. Now he's facing a lawsuit. Now the parents of young twin boys say Harris inappropriately touched them and sent lewd pictures. Harris says he did nothing wrong and has not been charged. NBC 5's Christian Farr has the latest. Naperville resident Jerry Harris is facing some serious accusations of sexual misconduct after being named in a sexual exploitation lawsuit. The boys admitted that he was uh, trying to get them to engage in sex. Attorney John Manley represents the two children who filed that federal lawsuit against Harris and the United States All-Star Federation, a cheerleading organization. Manley says his clients were 13 years old when they allege the misconduct began. My client's mom found inappropriate text from Mr. Harris on the phone, on their child, the child's phone involving sex. Harris became popular on the Netflix show Cheer, a docu-series about cheerleading. And Manley says Harris met his clients through the world of cheerleading. Manley says the FBI executed a search warrant at Harris's Naperville home yesterday. The FBI Chicago office would only say that it was conducting court-authorized law enforcement activity in Naperville yesterday. Department of Justice policy prevents the FBI from commenting on the existence or non-existence of any investigations that may be occurring. Frankly, it's my client's hope that uh, that he goes to jail for what he did. In a statement, an attorney for Harris said they categorically dispute the claims made against Jerry Harris, which are alleged to have occurred when he was a teacher. We are confident that when the investigation is completed, the true facts will be revealed. Mr. Uh, Harris, uh, contrary to his uh, representative statement, was an adult um, at all times during this. and took advantage of these children. Manley says his client's mother did contact local authorities in Texas and also the FBI, but at this point, no charges have been filed against Harris. Christian Farr, NBC5 News.